Wait for it, guys. I hear it. I hear it. I think I hear it. Oh, the, the stat, stat market. market. There I go. I hear it now. Opening bell. We give you the statistical trends, and you buy or sell stock based on whether you think they will hold up. First, the Rockets' defense. Top three in the postseason in efficiency, steals, and deflections. Richard, are you buying stock in the Rockets' defense holding up in game four tonight? I am buying, and the reason why I'm buying is because I believe and I pray that the Houston Rockets finally understand that the key to their success is defense. Because you know what happens if you turn the ball over too much and you're not playing defense? You have no chance. Or if you're not making shots, you have no chance. All defense does is allow you to make mistakes, and I think they are understanding that now uh, I'm not buying it I'm not buying it if you have to go up against LeBron James and Anthony Davis every night I have no stock in that defense now against the other opponents yeah but come on you're Ooh. talking about two of the top five players in the game it's, it's gonna be tough to maintain that type of defense against the Lakers I think LeBron has found his rhythm in this series AD is definitely in the rhythm and now they got playoff Rondo out there I don't know if I can buy stock in this one. I'm going to have to pass. I, I'll tell you what. I, <laughs> All right, well, this I, I'll tell you what. Go I ahead. believe it. Because Paul Pierce just gave Rondo and, and LeBron James a compliment in the same in the same <laughs> sentence. I'm impressed. Listen, I, 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 I always I give them it. guys compliments. I believe it. Come on. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm, I'm messing with you, Paul. I'm messing, <laughs> I'm, I'm messing with you, man. Rondo, definitely Rondo. All right, let's segue into LeBron James, Paul, who you have been very complimentary of all season. He is posting averages of 27 per game, nine assists, nine and a half rebounds per game in this postseason. Only three players in history, Russell Westbrook, Jason Kidd, and the big O Oscar Robertson have ever averaged a triple-double for an entire playoff run. But the question is, Paul, do you buy or sell a triple-double from LeBron in game four tonight? You know what? I'm buying it. I mean, LeBron... He, he's nothing short of amazing, man. And, I, and you know, what he's been doing at the, at the age of 35 in year 17, it's just like he warms up into these series. Like, he takes game one, sees what he has to do, and he comes back game two, three, four, five, and puts the team away. If anybody could do it, LeBron James can. I'm selling. I don't I, I think this is one of those games where, you know, I think he's realizing how important it is for him to score in this series. And on top of it, I, I you know, his assist numbers, like he's had a couple of big assist games, but I don't know if his assist numbers because they're just not really shooting the ball particularly well. So if I had to pick one, I'm gonna say he's gonna score more and get a few less assists than than the triple double situation. Hmm. We'll All see. right. All right. We'll, well, see. we'll see how that goes. Lastly, I want to move on to the Miami Heat. They have the best winning percentage this postseason. They've won eight of their nine games so far. Richard, are you buying stock in the Heat's title chances, given on how much of a role they are right 1, now? 1,000% I'm buying it. The reason why is, like, you look at the trouble that Boston has had with Toronto. It's because of how hard Toronto plays for 48 minutes. And you know who else does that? The Miami Heat. And they have great shooters, and they're led by a, a, an amazing coach, and, and it's a great organization. So whoever comes out of that next series is going to struggle because there's going to be a fatigue factor, especially when you're talking about who can play the hardest. Not buying no, I mean, they're, they have a, they've had a great season. They're on a great hmm. run right now. But I truly believe whoever wins this Boston-Toronto series is going to go to the finals. Because think about it. When you get tested in a series like this, it carries on to the next series most of the time. Miami hasn't really been tested all playoff long. And so I think they're going to get uh, one of these two opponents they're going to face in the Eastern Conference. They're going to get their best. And, and I think whoever wins that series is going to go to the finals. Well, I mean, it's pretty incredible to say Miami hasn't been tested when they just knocked out the number one seed with, yeah, you know, granted he wasn't playing in the fifth game, but, you know, the number one overall statistical player of the season. But I do I do see what you mean. I will say this, that the young players on all of the teams you guys just mentioned, but particularly Miami, because they depend on rookies, a little bit of an advantage here in the bubble because they're not playing in those huge big arena stadium moments that sometimes guys who don't have any experience dealing with that sometimes shrink from. That just doesn't exist here. It's a shooter's gym with the way it's lit. And I see the young players on the Miami Heat team not having any of that crowd noise had to deal with, but getting that great light and those great looks at the basket. And man, it is working for them. All right, guys, I hear the closing bell. You might not hear it yet, but I hear it. 
Oh, look at that. The stat market is closed for the day. We will be back with another edition soon. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.